I think there are two things that I would um, highlight. First is the commitment and the development of a real-time payment system in the US. Uh, it sounds um, crazy to think that we still do not have a real-time payment system in the US. However, as you may know, we continue to have a huge amount of checks being used as a payment mechanism in uh, an economy such as the United States of the America. So the commitment by the regulator and by the players to create a real-time payment system for the US in 2018, I think it's a great advancement towards continue to improve efficiencies in the infrastructure of the payment architecture in the United States, as we have seen in many other emerging markets, by the way, Brazil, Mexico, India, the UK. The other one, which is probably less, less new, but it has continued to accelerate, is the adoption of mobile technology in the financial industry. Um, we continue to grow strong, high double digits in terms of our consumer banking clients in the US and our corporate clients in the US and outside of the US on the adoption of the mobile technology that we are putting at their disposal. So basically managing their financial lives through mobile tech. We continue to see that that growth is exponential in terms of connectivity, but more importantly now in terms of transactionality. So those two things I would highlight as part of advancements in the technology space in 2019. Not every fintech is created equal, and I think um, the fact that there is an emergence of fintech and different technologies applied to financial industry uh, we see it as an opportunity rather than a challenge. Yes, we will compete with some of them, but more importantly, we have an opportunity to partner with many of them to continue to deliver new technologies, new solutions, new product capabilities to our customer base. So while some of them will probably do not succeed, I think there's going to be many of them that they will. And they will on their own merits, but more importantly, I think they will be part of an ecosystem of uh, technology providers to the financial industry from which financial institutions such as, as Bank of America can benefit from. And that is our play. We are certainly understanding and learning what are the financial technologies that are becoming available and certainly taking a look at them and see how we can incorporate that into our product developments and solutionings around the world. And again, we see this as a great opportunity and certainly as a great partnership going forward. We have launched uh, for example, uh, a, a solution which is called Intelligent Receivables in partnership with a FinTech, um, and that is a global solution. It is a solution that addresses uh, the challenge of corporate treasures in terms of matching and reconciling invoices to payments, something that sounds simple, but is extremely complex, particularly when you have a significant amount of different payment types emerging around the world, and you still need to reconcile an invoice to that payment. So that is one example where we have partnered with a fintech to develop a global solution that has proven to be incredibly successful in 2019 and will continue to invest on it going forward. We are also partnering up with other uh, fintechs in terms of solving for cash flow forecasting, which has traditionally been one of the biggest challenges that global corporate treasures around the world have continued to encounter. And we are working in a solution that, again, will be driven by technology, a fintech, and powered by Bank of America expertise and human capital to be able to deliver solutions at a global scale. Look, I think the emerging markets, and certainly Latin America being an emerging market, particularly with everything that is happening from a macro and geopolitical perspective, are the ones that have accelerated creativity and in many instances leapfrogging developed markets in terms of the adoption of technology. Um, particularly in Latin America, I think it is um, an instrument and a tool that will continue to drive sustainable development, particularly aiming at financial inclusion. Um, and we put a lot of emphasis into that because as Bank of America, we are very committed to our ESG agenda around the world. And sustainable economic development and catering to deliver financial services 
to uh, the communities in which we operate is absolutely critical. So for Latin America, I think the adoption of technology, the adoption of putting financial services through fintechs, digital wallets, um, the mer Mercado Pagos of Latin America, I think they're going to go a long way in terms of driving that financial inclusion, which at the end of the day will continue to uh, contribute to economic development sustainably for the better good of Latin America.